Hi guys, it's Katie the Crafty Crab and here I am this month once again with uh, my contribution to the Shabby Sheep Vintage Collaboration hosted by the Scottish Crafter. Today I'm going to show you a video of me transforming this craft box. So back in September, um, craft box company did a vintage seamstress box and I always knew that I was going to transfer them in a vintage style to be my own sewing box to collect all pins needles and threads. The first thing I want to do is knock back this colour and give it a good coat of white acrylic gesso. Once that's dried I'm going to apply a tissue paper and then age it. I didn't want to do any tea stains so I've just selected a pretty simple floral tissue paper and then I go over with the bronze copper colour. So I've got my box suitably distressed and coloured and I've laid out all of the pieces I want to use in approximately the places that I think I'm going to stick them down. You saw that I edged some of the papers and have stuck those down, also distressing the edges. I also had um, some silver measuring tape, um, kind of washi, that I've used and I've just been basically digging out some bronze charms, some wooden pieces and some flowers um, and other bits and pieces just to see what works. And so now I'm going to finally stick all of this down to make it something beautiful.
and this is my end result. This is my vintage um, upcycled transformed um, shabby chic sewing box. So um, it's got all of the flowers, bronze elements, the scissors charm. I found this tiny little reel and I put some neutral kind of fawn coloured thread and um, yeah really happy with how it's all turned out. So I would have liked to have had a draw charm here but um, I used this filigree instead. This box already had a magnetic closure anyway um, so that works really well. Um, I just put some, I don't know if you can see that, let me see if I can move the camera. So you can just see I put some vintage paper in the top and I edged around it and at the moment it's just got um, this bulging little sewing kit bag so I want to decant all of that and organize this space. Um, I have got lots of sewing materials but this is going to be my immediate reach to of needles and threads etc. So um, yeah I hope you have enjoyed watching my process for this and thank you once again to um, the Scottish Crafter for inviting me um, to join in with this collaboration. Please do remember um, to visit all of the links of the collaborators below. We are uploading videos on the second Sunday of every month until the rest of the year um, and they'll be usually uploaded around 3 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Um, you should find lots and lots of wonderful ideas for vintage and shabby chic pieces. I really enjoy putting this together and I'm really pleased that it's my own that I can use. So keep watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.